So hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video or in my current video I want to do a video I have created in the morning for this video about how to show static files in production when debug equals to false or even on your local environment when debug equals to false. So I created this video but unfortunately it doesn't show it. The resolution is a bit low. So that's what I want to review. Let's like start the desk and see. Uh it is black screen and more. The content is the content is shown in a small screen in the mid. So I realized that the problem was with my OBS video, my resource used for producing the videos, and uh, I'm going to fix it right away. Let's get started. <coughs> okay. So first, fix the issue. Settings. And, uh, Enabled or turned the debug from false to true. So initially debug was false, was true. I changed it to false because that's basically what we are testing. So okay. Then by changing it to false, I added this, this code for static, static URL. This stands for the URL where static files are stored, media URL then. This code is run when the debug equals to true and this one when the debug is false. So I linked and I will link in this tutorial too. Uh, Dev.2 article for that code. So, <laughs> dev.to. So, I created an article here on dev.to. The topic. You can just go and copy paste. So, for the, <laughs> for the settings that you are, you just copy this one and paste into your code. And make sure these parts are not repeated because the default demo comes with these settings pre installed, pre set. So you change them. Then, and the URL.py in your project. Make sure it's in your project name, not in your app name. So in your project, go to URL.py then. Then code. So from the same place you import path, also import the path. And imported include before, but in this uh, tutorial, we only need the path. Then add uh, these two URLs to the to your URL part of URL system. Also, uh, these ones. So inside your URL patterns, these two are the important ones. The other were just for my code, so you can ignore them. Ignore them. So from this part downwards, just ignore them. Unless you have the same code in your program, your project. <laughs> Not just ignore these, just put these ones. So in your in the dev you just find the two parts URL patterns, sorry, the two URL patterns. Then also don't forget to import settings, sub, and report. Those are the most important things. So let me see I imported settings twice, but just import it once. So settings, sub, and report. Report is imported from Django.urls where you also import path and include. 
basically that's it you run your code python manage your keyword sorry and first you need to activate my virtual environment with the code so in windows that's how you activate your virtual environment you don't know about this i have a tutorial on how to do that how to create and activate virtual environment in Lima account so once that is done, you can run Python. UI run server. The work. Basically, that's it. The viewer also. Just put it, put them the way they are, don't change this to part, just use the part because it is using, I think, it's called regex. So, just put the part. This one was an old way of writing one else. But it was work. Just put it like that. Next, I go to my link. You can see the website, the media effects are showing. And the 30 files are also showing. I think if I go to the admin, there should be no CSS. So to fix this, you come here and uh, command control T to start the development server then. Python manage the few and collect circuit. So that's how you should fix it. Uh huh. So, we'll override existing files, just type yes. And uh, by just doing that, it should work. So, over again. Now, if I refresh the server, it, it works. So, Basically, after writing the code, run the command, collect static. Writing my code from this article, run the command, collect static. And basically, that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, welcome. We'll be waiting you in the next tutorial. And please don't forget to.